Are you getting a lot of fence sitters after you've done a presentation? Are they giving you those answers of, I'll think about it, or this looks great, I wanna take it home and have a think about it and talk to my partner? Are these the sorts of things you're getting after a presentation? Are these the th sorts of things that you're getting you know, when you've, you, when you've closed the meeting and they're still giving you those sorts of answers, there's still those fence sitters. Hello, my name is Janelle from JanelleEmma.com and today I wanna to talk to you about that. So on my last video that I spoke to you about, you know, I was speaking about, you know, closing and making sure that your presentation is in the right way, it's presented the right way, so your prospects aren't scared to think that they can't do that same presentation as well. But what if your presentation is perfect? What if it's the type of presentation that you know is duplicatable, it's easy, um, and it's bringing people in, but they are still sitting on the fence. They're still sitting there saying to you that they'll think about it, or it looks great and they need to go away and have a little talk about it with their partner. So. This can still happen to you after you've done those perfect closing questions. You know, if you're saying, what did you like best about what you saw? Um, and they give you a great answer, you know, a good comeback. And, you know, then they say to you, or you say to them, do you see yourself having an opportunity with this? And they're saying, yeah, I do actually, but they're still sitting on the fence. What is it that you do? You know, we know that facts tell and stories sell. So you know, need to start, sorry, telling stories to them and getting their mind thinking, putting their mind in a different mindset, making sure that that story resonates with them in some way and hits them somewhere that makes them really think about this and why is it that they are sitting on the fence about this. So see if you go, you know, if you're going into the business and, or if they are going into the business and they are thinking about it, they're sitting on the fence, um, why not go to them and approach them in a way that makes them think about what it is that they're sitting on the fence about. So what I mean about that is, you know, it could be something like, okay, I can see you still wanting to take some information home, but this is what's happened to me in the past with other fence sitters, or this is what I've seen in the past with other people in my team. If they've gone home and thought about it for a week or two, um, and then they still haven't signed up, or they're still thinking about it and still wanting to talk to their partner about it, what do you think that's going to bring in with other people into your own business if that's happening with you? So this is where duplication comes in. If this prospect jumps in all you know all all deep end and wants to start straight away and they can see that a three hundred dollar or five hundred dollar or thousand dollar pack isn't that much of a startup for something that's a business that could potentially create huge success then they are you know that's that's a powerhouse story that they can tell when they're trying to bring in other people themselves you know if they've came in that way and they said, yeah, I started up within three days of looking at that presentation and I was ready to run straight away. You know, how much of a powerhouse story is that? But if they're the ones who, you know, they are wanting to bring in other people to their business now, but their story is, oh, well, I actually thought about it for two or three weeks before I actually signed up and I went home and did a lot of my own research and did a lot of my own thinking and that sort of stuff before I started. How does that look to their own prospects if they want their prospects to start in the right way? We need to flip that mindset. We need to make sure that they think or well, they know that, okay, if I've started this way with, yes, jumped in, let's go, we can do this right now, isn't that going to go through to their own prospects? Isn't that what's going to duplicate down into their own team? They need to think about that. So put that into their head. Tell them a story around that, some sort of story that you've heard in your company, in your business, or some sort of story that um, you've actually experienced yourself or, or your own story of how you came into the business that was a real powerhouse story that you can tell them. You know, Make sure you tell them about that story because that's what's going to create them a little bit more of a... Um, you know, urgency in signing up themselves because they'll say, okay, well, I don't want other people signing up in this way. I don't want other people joining me two or three weeks after they've seen a presentation and fluff about for a bit, you know, before they actually sign up. I want people to sign straight away. So I've got a yes or no answer and we can get going with the business, you know, and you want to tell them that so they see the other people can do that as well. So you know, that's what's going to change their mindset. That's what's going to make them think, well, this is only $500. It's not a big outlay for something that could create potential massive success. So why not do it? You know, and it could really flip them around. On that day, after that presentation, if they've got, you know, a yes answer and they're still sitting on the fence though and want to go home and think about it for a couple of weeks and get back to you, um, you know, we've got to change that. We've got to change that mindset. You don't have to be pushy about it, but you can just say, hey, before you do go home, you know, with this decision or before you go home with 
um, you know, the information I've given you and you want to do a bit more of your own research, here's a story I want to tell you first about what's happened in my business and what's duplicatable to other people and tell them that story. Tell them that story as a, about, you know, the better, the quicker you jump in, the quicker other people will jump into your business as well, into their business as well. That's what's going to duplicate. You know, if they're someone who's um, signed up on the lowest pack, they've taken three weeks to actually sign up and they're the sort of person that's wanting to do their own research and their own, um, you know, go on Google and look at a few different things and all that sort of stuff. That's exactly the type of people they're going to attract. That's exactly the type of people they're going to bring into their business and you don't want that. They won't want that at the time when they decide that this is something they want to run with. So give them that story. Give them that little bit of an opening as to why they would want to start straight away. They need to have that powerhouse story behind them. Make them understand that having that powerhouse story is then going to um, be the easiest thing to help them close when they want to close someone. Um, so I think that, you know, these stories, we all know facts tell, stories sell. S telling people these stories is what's going to create duplication in the right way and not in the wrong way. And, you know, you need to then open their eyes up and go, well, you can be learning all this stuff that you want to learn. You know, if they say, I want to go home and learn some extra information, tell them they can learn that on the job. Tell them they can learn that with you. You can be giving them the right information for that. You can be giving them the right tools and the right websites and all that to go to to find that information once they've signed up. You know, they don't have to learn everything straight away, especially, you know, with the comp plan and that sort of stuff. That doesn't have to be learned straight away. They need to, you know, be looking at the things that will help them create money success straight away, which is, you know, making money back on their pack that they've just signed up on. So inviting is their biggest next step, you know, inviting and finding prospects and talking to people, their biggest next step. But before that, you've got to show them that story. You've got to show them that vision of, you know, how this is going to help them if they sign straight away. And by stalling, it's only going to make other people stall in their own business. It's only going to cause that duplication of a slower business rather than a faster business. So be bold with your prospects. We don't want to be pushy, but you've got to be bold. You've got to have that posture. You've got to make them realize that you know what you're talking about and that you know, you've been in this business for X amount of time, so you know exactly how other people have come into this business and how um, you want to show them the right way, not not the stalling way, not the wrong way or the slow way. You want to show them the right way to get this going straight away and make success for themselves in their first couple of months. That can really happen. You know, that can it can be something that could um, potentially grow their business even faster in the next year if they start off right on the right foot. Show them the way for that. You know, this is what true leaders will do for their team. And telling those stories is what will create that powerhouse story for themselves. I think I've covered everything there. So I hope that was of value to you. Please like or share or comment this if it was of value to you. And just make sure that you are telling stories. They are our most powerful asset is our stories. And when we're closing, make sure we're asking them what did you like about what you saw do, do you see yourself doing something like this for your future or you know do you see yourself doing this business as a part-time gig ask them lots of questions those questions are what are powerful those questions are what um, will help you find out what their vision is what their goals are and then by getting them to have some sort of a powerhouse story as to how they came into the business will be what sets them apart from the other people and gets them in that flow and and going and building a lot quicker than others out there and I'll speak to you all on the next video. See you later.